is not an ideal day to be driving the Taycan GTS Sport Turismo over Angeles Crest in California, but here we are, and we're not gonna let weather get in the way of a good time. That's okay, because this car is ready to handle it. This is Porsche's latest Salvo in its electrified lineup. They make a GTS sedan and a GTS Sport Turismo. Obviously, if I'm buying, if I'm spending the dough, it's Sport Turismo, and I'm happy to say that this car rips hard. I really love it, even in 39 degree rainy weather on a tight, twisting, wonderful road. So, on the outside, the GTS gets distinguished from the standard or higher spec cars by a lot of blacked out trim. Uh, the Porsche logo in the back along the hatch is blacked out. The housings for the LED matrix headlights are blacked out. You get black wheels in the corners too, and this car is wearing the optional 21-inch RS Spider wheels wrapped in Pirelli summer tires, which once they get some heat in them, feel pretty good on this wet winding road. On the inside here, this car is filled with Porsche's Race Tech's interior, which is a suede-like material. You get the Sport Chrono package as standard, and if you really want to swap out the clock that comes up there, you can do so for one that matches your watch, because you a fancy person. Another neat thing though, this is the first, hey, big rock in the road. Another neat thing is this one is the first one available with this roof. Looks like a standard uh, panoramic roof, right? Well, it has variable light panels, so it is open now. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna dim one, I'm gonna dim the other part, or I can swipe here with my finger and change it how I want it. That is crazy. Um, it's like a combination of gimmicky and fun at the same time, and I really like it. Kinda cool. So this car wears gigantic brakes, big wheels and tires, and obviously it has tons of power. In an overboost situation, you can have up to 590 horsepower. Normally you have 509 horsepower and there is 662 wonderful torques on tap feeding out to the wheels through a two-speed gearbox. That's how you hit higher top speeds in these electric cars. There's a slight shift you can feel around 55 miles per hour if you're cruising along. Um, and it's pretty... Right. Oh, I want to adjust. Oh, I, want the, I want the noise. I can turn the, the noise on, baby. There we go. So you can turn the noise on or off in different modes. There's different driving modes. When you put it in, I'm in Sport, in Sport Plus, the noise automatically comes on. They've tuned even the noise for the GTS spec car. So it's more, it's louder, it's sportier. I think that's kind of fun. I like this Jetson-esque EV style noise that you can get in these Taycons. I love these cars. I am a massive Porsche Taycan fan. These cars are amazing to drive. They're entertaining. They're wonderful machines. You can cruise around silently or you can turn the noise on. Just comfortable, good tech, really good looking cars too, especially in the wagon versions. And this Sport Turismo GTS, when I saw it at the LA Auto Show this year, I instantly fell in love with it. I That's funny, it simulated the gear shift noise. Um, I need to find the money to buy one of these. The sedan starts at $131,000 before you add in a $1,350 delivery fee. The wagon is $133,000 before you add in that fee and any of Porsche's notoriously hefty options list. But I don't know what you would need to add to this. I don't need the 21 inch wheels. In fact, I would try to downsize to 19. This guy's gonna let me pass. Downsize to 19s, get some chunkier sidewall on it. This car, though, um, it just it drives amazingly. It is a it's a Porsche experience just in an electric wagon. This is an electric sports wagon. So you have room for family, friends, stuff, things, pets, all that great stuff in your day to day. I would put a rack on the top to put my bike uh, and go mountain biking with this thing. And anytime I would drive it, this car would put a smile on my face. And I think that's part of the Porsche appeal. I mean, if you're spending that much money, it should put a smile on your face, right? This car definitely, definitely does that. I'm not kidding when I say I need to find a way to own one of these at some point in my life. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't 
have this much money for a car like this. Um, the combined value of my daily drivers is a joke. Um, even if you add in my wife's CX-5 into the mix. Um, but, but the immediacy of the power, the handling from the, 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 the steering feel is great. The seats are supremely comfortable and well bolstered. I mean, it's, it's, I, I can't find fault. The only fault is that I can't afford it. I, otherwise, I can't find fault. I'm fine with the 200 plus miles of range that these get. I, I, that doesn't give me range anxiety at all. As someone who's driven cross country in an electric vehicle, it's hard for me to get range anxiety these days. Uh, even right now, I'm nowhere near Marina Del Rey, which is where the hotel where I'm staying at is, and it says 57 miles of range, but I know I'm going downhill and I'm gonna recuperate a lot of it because this car has really good regen braking, even though some people think it has, it has none. It totally has great regen braking. You just can't one pedal drive these, which I don't mind. I don't love one pedal driving. And Porsche could, add in the technology to do one pedal driving, but they purposely don't because they feel like they want you on the gas and the brake be because they want you driving the car. And in a GTS, that's what you're doing. I don't need all the power of the Turbo S, even though it's a monster machine. I know someone who owns a black one that's already lowered on black wheels and it looks absolutely amazing. But for me, it's the GTS. The biggest option I would want on these is paint a sample so I could get some dark green color. I would see if I could get, uh, I know they like blacked out trim, but it'd be cool to see like a, a dark brown interior on a dark green exterior. Um, get the right wheels in there, right sidewall. Good God, it's, it's just such a wonderful solution in your garage or driveway. And like I said, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I need to find a way to buy one of these.